everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel and to my February TBR <laughs> video. I don't want to say this is like an official TBR because I'm due February 18th, but my baby can come literally any day now. <laughs> um, the doctors think he's going to come early. So with that being said, this is more of a books I'd like to read in February, depending on when I give birth and how my newborn child is. That's what we're calling it, but that's a really long title. Um, so TBR it is. So in February, I do have a couple buddy reads and group reads that I'm planning on doing again, depending on when I give birth <laughs> um, and there is a readathon that I am participating in. So we are just going to dive in and I'll share the books that I am planning on reading in February. So the first book that I literally just like remembered as I started this video is the next book in the like Mitford series. I don't even know what the series is called, but it's part of the like a year in Mitford read along that is being hosted by um, Kate at Kate Howe, um, Rainy at Rainy Day Reads, Angie at Literary Labors, and is it Chelsea at Voyage of a Time Wanderer? I can I, I don't know why I can't ever remember her channel name. I'll put it here. Um, it's book two. I don't remember the title of the books here. I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I'm sorry. Um, but I will be continuing on with that, assuming I can get the audio book. We'll continue with that. Then other group reads that I have. Um, I am doing a group read of Stormfront by Jim Butcher. Um, I'm doing this with Tia at Tia and All the Books, Angie at Literary Labors, and Lexi at A.N. Lashley. I'll put her channel up um, as well. And then other people, Tia did just post a video asking if anybody else wanted to join our little group read. Um, so that might be extended to more people. But this is technically a reread for me. I read it in college but I don't remember like anything about it. And I've been interested in like picking up the series again. So when Tia posted this and said, hey, like this is a book that I wanna read this year, I hopped in on the group read. So we are starting that very beginning of February, February 1st. So hopefully I'll be able to participate in this before Little Man's here. Um, then I am doing, oh shoot. I didn't grab it. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to run and grab it from my, my bedroom, but I will be buddy reading A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab with Amanda at her Pacific Northwest Washington Life. We are also starting that on February 1st. Um, really excited about that. That is one of the books that John challenged me to read this year, and V.E. Schwab is an author I wanted to read more of. So Amanda um, commented on one of my videos where I talked about V.E. Schwab and she's like, hey, we should buddy read this. And I was like, yeah, we should. So we're doing that in February. Um, then I will be buddy reading The Diviners by Libba Bray with my mom. No firm plans on this as to when we're going to start this. Um, again, it kind of depends on when Little Man comes um, cause my mom's coming out when <laughs> he makes his arrival. So that's kind of up in the air, but we're planning on reading it in February because spoiler alert, this is appearing later on in my TBR. So, and it's in her TBR as well. So the other big thing that I'm planning on participating in is the Historathon, which is hosted by Amanda at the Curly Reader and Angie at Science Mama. And I will leave a link to the announcement video down below. I participated in this last year and loved it. So I'm really excited that Amanda decided to do this again. 
So she created a bingo board, um, which I'll post here. And yeah, it's just a good time. So last year I tried to do like a book for every prompt and I didn't read and complete every prompt, but I did have a book picked out for every prompt. This year I said, there's no way I will be able to read nine books plus the buddy reads I already had plus have a baby. Um, so <laughs> I just kind of picked a few books that fit multiple props and whatever I get to, I get to. Whatever I don't get to, I feel like I have a pretty good excuse to not complete my TBR for February. So I'm not going to like hold myself to anything on this TBR. None of the books that I, if I don't get to these books, they are not going in my TBR glasses because I think I can give myself a pass considering I'm having a baby. So we'll just kind of go across the bingo board and I'll tell you what books for the prompts, but I do not, I, but I'm using the same book for multiple prompts, if that makes sense. So the first prompt is a book set in a place I've visited. For that, I'm using The Diviners, which is set in New York City. I have visited New York City multiple times because I live in Connecticut and it's like an hour and a half train right away. So using that for this. Um, Next is a multi-generational book, and for that, I am using The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. This is one of the books that I wanted to read in 2021. This was the book of the month's book of the year for 2020, and it is set, it says, weaving together multiple strands and generations from the deep south to California from the 1950s to the 1990s. So excited to give this a read. And then the next, the last prompt along the top is a book about a war that is not World War II. And for that, I am using I, Eliza Hamilton by Susan Holloway Scott, which is set during the Revolutionary War. So that's exciting. Then next row is book by a diverse author. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. Um, Britt Bennett is black. Um, the group read, which is the middle square, is The Yellow Bird Sings by Jennifer Rosner. Um, this is set in World War II. Um, follows Ro Raza and her five-year-old daughter, Shira. So... And they like have a make-believe world that kind of like protects the daughter from all of the horrible things that are going on during World War II. Um, then the next prompt is historical fiction subgenre, like historical romance or historical fantasy. So I'm using the diviners for that as well because this has like witches and stuff like that. So yeah. Then the last row, Book with No People on the cover, I'm using The Yellow Bird Sings because there's no people on the cover. <laughs> um, then Book Set During Winter, and I'm struggling with this one, and then Amanda posted a recommendations video, which I will also link down below, and then she mentioned this book, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I'm going to use Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetys. This is the only Ruta Sepetys book I have yet to read. Um, I actually just purchased it. And I love Ruta Sepetys. I can, like, binge her books. I've read her books in one day, in two days. Like, they read really quickly. So this is also set, I believe it's set during World War II. Um, set in Lithuania to Sub Siberia. So very cold setting. I mean... There's snow on this woman's eyelashes. So that is that. And then uh, the last prompt is a book with a person's name and title. I, Eliza Hamilton, for that. So if by some miracle <laughs> I happen to read all of these books in the shortest shortest month of the year and give birth to my son 
and all of that, I will try and read some other historical fiction. Um, just, I mean, I enjoy historical fiction. I loved the historathon. There are other books on my historical fiction shelf, which is, where is it? Yeah, right there. Um, <laughs> right there, way over there. Um, that I had picked out, um, that would fit these prompts. But then I was like, Tara, what are you doing? Like, you're giving birth in February. Like, you're not going to be able to read 12 books in the month of February. There's no way. Um, but if I happen to just get a ton of reading done in February and I have extra time on my hands, I will pick up more historical fiction books or I will focus on my book of the month books from past Februarys because um, that is a project that I do want to work on. But again, I'm trying to keep February pretty low key because I know that it's like, I like, I'm ridiculous even setting a TBR, let's be honest. Like, But I feel like I need some type of plan. I also need to figure out which one of these like not buddy read books. So like, which one of these four should I put in my hospital bag to just have ready so I have something to read while I'm at the hospital because I'm totally going to have time to do that. But you know, my sister, she just gave birth in September to my nephew, obviously, because it's my sister's son. Um, and she said, Tara, like, I wish that I had had a book with me because like once, you know, the baby's there, like you're in the hospital. Um, so I just want to set one of these four books in my hospital bag just to have it like ready to go. My hospital bag's actually right there. It's almost all packed. I'm doing a load of laundry for my little kid right now to uh, put a pair of clothes in there for him. But so tell me which one of these I should put in my hospital bag just to have ready to read when I'm at the hospital. Let me know. Um, <laughs> Anyways, that is it for now. Let me know if you're participating in the Historathon down below, what books you're reading for it, if you've read any of these, what your thoughts are, all that fun stuff. Let me know down below. Chit chat with me in the comments. Um, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.